Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and modify styles. Let's get started. So I have a Word document here and the first thing that you need to know is where the styles list is located. The home tab, the styles group, you'll see this gallery list of different styles that you could choose from. Now the cool thing is, is let's say I select a paragraph within my document, I could hover over any of these styles to see how that paragraph would look with these uh, styles applied. So you have heading styles which are typically bigger, bolder, and different colors, and you also have things like bulleted lists and your normal style which is used for uh, body text within the document. So as we point to the different ones, you'll notice you have heading 1, 2, and 3. Those are typically used for uh, important headings within your document, and with one being the most important, all the way down to heading five or six in some cases. All right, so we've hovered over each of those, and so now we see that down here, this text is actually used as normal style. I could tell because if I click in any of the text, normal has a gray box around it. And I'm going to show you how to change the normal style on your document. And to change any style, and let's say that any uh, style that I want to have changed in here, first thing I'm going to do is go to the home tab, styles group, and I'm going to find the style that I want to change, which is the normal style. You could also click this bottom right button within uh, the gallery to view all of your styles. So this will show you all of your styles and I want to modify the normal style. So all I have to do is right click on normal and go right here to modify. And so I click modify and it's going to open this up. And this says that the name is normal and these are the properties associated with it. For this example I'm going to show you how to change the font. And so if I change the font which is Candera, I'm going to change that to Franklin Gothic and so I type FR and I see that I have some Franklin, uh, Franklin Gothic book, Franklin Gothic Demi. I'm going to choose this one right here, Franklin Gothic book. And so that will change up my font. And now the cool thing is, is that when I click OK here, it's actually going to change any of my normal text on the page to this style font. So right here, we see these two paragraphs down at the bottom, which used to be Kandera. As soon as I take, uh, or as soon as I click on OK, take a look at how these fonts change. So here it goes. And you'll see that all of the font has now changed throughout the document on anything that was normal style. So now the normal style is Franklin Gothic font rather than Kandera. So that's how you edit a uh, current style. Now one of the other things that you could do is you could actually uh, go up here to the home tab styles group and let's say I look at heading one two and three. Let's say that I wanted to uh, adjust something on my on my document. Let's say I didn't really like the color purple here for America's Finest Publishing Team and you'll see that this right here is a heading one style. Again because this gray border goes around the heading style and I see that it is gray or sorry uh, I see that this is the style selected and so if I wanted to say change this to green or something like that what I could do is I could go right up here to the home tab okay and I could go to the font group and if I click this drop down arrow next to my font color and I change this to say green which is in my standard colors area and I change that to green notice that the heading style did not change up here but just the text changed right here if I don't want to go in and change each individual heading throughout my whole document to green, what I could do is I could go right up here to where heading 1 is, right click it, and go update heading 1 to match the selection. The selection being the highlighted area right here. So if I click update to, uh, or update heading to match selection, watch what happens. It's going to turn that to green, as well as any other heading 1, and you'll also see that the heading 1, 2, and 3 styles are, are all now green, rather than that purple color. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that's a nice change to those documents that, or to those headings. That way I don't have to look through the rest of them. All right, let's continue on. Down here uh, towards the bottom, you see where it says description of services under management. Right here it says project management. I'm going to highlight this text right here. Okay, and what I'm going to do with this text is I'm going to change this color. So home tab, font group, font arrow, and I'm going to change this color to orange. And orange is right here in my standard colors. You'll probably notice on your document that you have a different set of theme colors up here. Uh, that's because your theme is probably different from my document. But right down here, these standard colors are always the same all the time. So I go right here and I change it to orange. Okay. Now it's a little hard to read in bold, so I'm going to deselect bold and turn on italics. 
Now let's say that I wanted this right here to be applied to my other uh, subheadings, but I kind of want to reuse this in the future. Okay, if if uh, I'm going to type in any of these subheadings again, I actually want to learn how to create a brand new style. So go to the Home tab, go to the Styles group, and if you click the More button, it's going to display the entire gallery. And again, I still have Project Management highlighted, and I go right here to Create a Style. And when I click on Create a Style, it's going to ask me the name for the style. In this case, I'm going to call this one service name. So anytime we provide a service or we're uh, describing a service, uh, that's what it'll be called is service name. Okay. And then I'll see how the style looks, which is listed right here. Okay. Or which uh, preview is given right here. And then I'm going to click on OK. All right. And you'll notice that right up here in the home tab styles group in the styles gallery, we now have a brand new style called service name. You can see it right here. Or if you don't see it, you could hit the more button and you'll see it listed right here as service name. And it's this orange color. Now the cool thing is I could highlight different parts of my document. Say I highlight document management and then I hold down control and highlight instructional design and highlight content creation, which are my other service name headings. And I want to apply the service name style. Now I just go to the home tab, styles group and service name. And it's going to apply that style to those three. Okay, and so that's how we apply a style that was just recently created. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about modifying current styles, updating the uh, style to the selection, and also uh, creating a brand new style in Microsoft Word. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Have a nice day.